first time, I think, like, the first time I ever had, like, a proper one that wasn't, like, for me being dumb or, like, getting some kind of injury yeah. um, was uh, I went to, with um, my buddy Brian in Seattle. I was probably about 11 years ago now, and it was, like, my first time actually doing, like, a real... Um, you know, like padding, stocking at fiber, like the, the, a true deal cast uh, was my uh, black and then slightly orange um, dual long leg cast that I did. Okay. Uh, so that was my first those. time. Yeah, so that was my first. So I just like jumped right in, like both feet, as they say, you know, feet first. Huh? <laughs> um, and then I think, I think the first time that I ever like attempted to try and make one, like, I think I was probably, like, in junior high school. And I didn't know, like, about, like, or I didn't have a credit card to, like, order from Grogan's or one of those sites, like, from back in the day. So uh, I think I went to, like, a craft store called Opus. And it was, like, in this weird little strip mall. And they had, like, plaster bandages. Uh So I just kind of, like mishmashed and like found stuff that was similar things that I could use and then that was like my first go at it but I didn't want to do anything too big because I knew that I didn't have a saw or anything so I didn't want to like get stuck in it (laughs) yeah and uh so I think that was my first time and then like so you're gonna see a little Boston Terrier running around here is that your cat do you have a cat or is that a dog no it's my dog. Oh, I thought it was a cat. <laughs> <laughs> she may as well be a cat, but yeah. So that's Shiloh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah. So I went down uh, and I went for I think three days uh, to visit Brian, and that's where I had my dual long leg cast, and it was a great experience. And then uh, that kind of got me the bug, and then kind of went from there but like it was like really few and far between for like years after that Mm -hmm. like maybe like once a year maybe not so that was probably my first experience nice and then like what was the other thing we were going to talk about like um you have a visitor yeah Yeah. what's that Um, okay. I guess I'm being uber loud, but I can't hear myself. Top rated studio. Alright, um, I think, like, what, what was, so you did, uh, you did two long leg casts? Um, I did. Your, yeah. your first time? Yeah. That's, that's pretty ballsy, dude, like... <laughs> I know, I just... Oh. Someone ringing in on your end? I, like, hear it, but it sounds faint. I call into this one. You know what I mean? Like, I can't do it. Yeah. I guess I could, but it'd be super weird. Uh, Give me one, sir. Okay, I just, it said ring him, so we'll see maybe if it works from my end. Oops. Oh, okay. Just he's he's ringing. It's like it's not answering. Oh, that is weird. Mm-hmm. Wait, can you answer it on your side? No, right? No, because he's like, it's just like a personal one that he's just sending to me. <laughs> he's like it says it's. That was weird. He's like caught in like the matrix of like. (laughs) (laughs) Alright, let me try it one more time from here. 
Hopefully it'll work. But um, there was another topic, though. It was like, it was going to be like your first time casted, and then it was like, what was it? It was like, um... damn it. <laughs> it was, well, like, okay, I guess another big one is like, have you ever been caught, like, casted out in, like, public? Mm, in public, no. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't. Um... Like, I, I don't know, like, I usually go, like, out of town, actually. Um, I was, it was when I did my gray one, actually, my most recent one. Okay. Um, that looked epic. I way. was, yeah, it was, it was, you know what, it's so funny because it, it wasn't going to be epic at all. It wasn't, I, did, I almost thought it was going to be a bit of a failure as an adventure. It was great. Uh, it was great, it was comfortable, and then all the signatures that people kind of wrote in, and then that was really cool, but um, my buddy, uh, Jeremy Clark, I told him to come up and hang out, because I was like, I didn't have anyone to go hang out with or like help take pictures or anything like that, right? Yeah. And like, having a second person just for that is really helpful. And uh, he wasn't sure if he could come, and I just like pestered him. Until finally he, like, gave it and said, ah, you know what, yeah, I will come for the weekend. So it could have totally been a bust, but it wasn't, which was good. Um, but anyway, uh, the, the, we were, uh, he was staying at a hotel, um, which was close, like, really close to where I grew up. Kind of in the same city, but just a little outside on the outskirts. And um, there was a restaurant there. And uh, I was like... I forgot what we were trying to do. I felt like if we were trying to get some plans figured out and everything, it was just kind of, oh, I know what it was. My buddy, my other buddy, who I originally started, the, and there's like a couple people around close by in that area anyway. Um, there was no place to park. Like for the first, he said it was the first time it ever happened. All the visitor parking spots at his, his apartment complex were taken. Oh, oh, wow. So I had the, par yeah, so I had the parking pass and everything, but I didn't, I like, I couldn't park, so I'm like, okay, well, like, I can't park fucking two blocks away. I'm like, I'm not crotching that far. Like, <laughs> hell with that. And I think it was raining. Um, so I said to Jeremy, I'm like, you know what, I'm coming back, and I'm just going to park there, and I'm just going to stay at your hotel because, fuck this, I'm not waiting around. Excuse my language. I don't know if this is going to be a yeah, no, PG event. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, so... I was like, to, to heck with this, so I went back and met up with him, and then I was like, well, hey, we can go have, s oh, he's calling again, um, we can go and have a, one sec. yeah, so he's like, yeah, that works perfect, so we'll go in, um, you know, have something to eat, hang out, have a few drinks, because now that we're at the hotel, I'm like, I'm like, to hell with it, I'm like, we can drink until we can't stand anymore, and then we just have to walk up to your room, it's perfect, because, yeah. you know, who doesn't like <laughs> Who doesn't like a wobbly pop or two occasionally? <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I know I do. Uh, so, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, so I, uh, so I was parking and I was waiting for him to find a spot. I found one relatively quickly, but I found one around the back. So I was waiting for him to pull up. And uh, lo and behold, I look out and it's two of my old co-workers that I've known forever. They didn't see me. I was still in my car, but I saw them walk in, and I'm like, abort mission, man. I'm like, I can't walk into that moxie. So there's just way too much. <laughs> so he's like, yeah, yeah, no problem. So um, we both we both then left. This this is the crazy part. That's why, like, I, I give Jeremy Clark great kudos. He's honestly one of the nicest, most easygoing guys in the world. He's like, well, what do you want to do? I'm like, well, now I feel really uncomfortable being in this part of town and in this city because I just saw someone we can't eat here. Um, I was like, do you want to go back to Surrey, uh, which was the uh, city that uh, that I was in originally. Okay. And um, maybe you should edit that out too, <laughs> just in case. I don't, know. don't worry, dude. No, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to download this and then edit it, and then I'll like put this like on Patreon, and then I'll put like a little clip on YouTube. 
okay, cool. So I said, well, let's go back to the other city uh, that I was in. And uh, he's like, yeah, sure, that works. So we drove all the way from where the hotel was back to the city I was before, which which is about a 40-minute drive. Like, oh, yeah. it's not exceptionally long, but it's not really around the block either. <laughs> so we went to um, we went to another restaurant, uh, one that we actually both... Um, Excuse me, when I was in my black long, long arm cast, it was actually the restaurant that we went to uh, together then. And the food was great, the service was great, the beer was great. We're like, let's go here. And he's like, yeah, I'm down for that. So we go into the restaurant, and then uh, we have a couple drinks, we have a good dinner, and then we just like, it was like, there, it was like 11 o'clock at this point, and they're like, hey, you gotta go. So I was like, I was like, well, it's been a couple hours at least. I was like, I know what these people are driving. I'm like, let's go back to the hotel. And if that car is gone, I'll risk it. We'll go into this other restaurant. And uh, and then, because they're open till 1 a.m., and then we'll just drink and maybe have an appy or something, right? So the car was gone, so we went in. And yeah, and then we I just hung out at his, at his hotel. We had some drinks and just had a great time. He helped, like, take pictures. I took some pictures, grabbed a couple of videos in the hotel room. Um yeah, it was actually, it honestly just turned out to be, like, a really great adventure from what was originally something that was really quickly planned, and then um, it was actually the leftover gray tape that I had from the adventure with uh, um, my girlfriend, uh, my girl who's a friend, not girlfriend, uh, <laughs> down in, uh, down south of, south of me when we got together, and she, I put her in the um, Two Shore Lake cast. So it was actually the leftover tape. Yeah. Yeah, so I was just like, I, well, I got a bunch of three inch and I got a bunch of four inch left, and um, I mean that, you know, unfortunately, like I really like, I, he's a great guy and everything, but so far my experience with the ortho tape hasn't been fantastic, um, and this stuff wasn't really that sticky, and I was having some issues with it. So really, I just wanted to use it before it was going to become unusable. So. Cross my fingers. I'm really hoping that his next batch is going to be good because I'm willing to give it another shot. Um, but I think I actually got then, some of the like really new stuff, and yeah. it worked out pretty good. But then I like just was like looking through my stuff the other day, and I noticed like a couple of them were like rock hard in the packages. So I was like, oh damn, like that didn't last very long. So yeah, I, I don't know. Mine if, were like swollen, like right up, like the bags were swollen. Yeah, yeah. So, so usually so that's like the first sign. And then I was going to say, yeah. it like, all that stuff went on the plane with me to L.A., so, like, I'm sure that probably didn't help, like, being at, you know, 30,000 oh, feet, you know, like, <laughs> they probably, like, burst in the bag and just, like, then they probably, like, shrunk back down when they got down or something, but, yeah. I don't know, like, you, it makes you wonder, like, dude, they, they have to ship some of that stuff by air, so you'd think it... I think I a lot know, of it goes be ground, okay. to be honest with you, but... Oh yeah, yeah. Um, the one, the one tape that I get from him though that I do really like, like the end of the day, like 3M is king for sure. Um, but one that I really like that I actually ordered from him as well is uh, the Tech Form. That stuff works really, really well. I really you, like that have stuff. You, have you tried the new waterproof stuff? No, but I want to. I've seen you and a couple other people do it. And now I'm like, I'm definitely, you, definitely game you. for it. It is the coolest shit ever. Um, I, like, just bought two rolls of it, like, four inch and three inch, and, like, I'm never going to buy regular padding again because, like, I'm just going to use Oh, really? Stuff. Yeah. Because it's, it's actually, like, yeah. for, for the amount of stuff you get, it's actually cheaper. Like, it's really interesting how it works out like that. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, do you have to, so, like, do you put stock in it over it and you use it as pad? I saw somebody do that, and... That's not the way I do it. So I essentially just use it as stockinette. If you use it as stockinette, it yeah. be, it beats the price by like I don't know, like twelve bucks or whatever per roll, or something um, like that. You know what I mean? So it's like that's where I get the cost savings from is not using stockinette and not using padding. So and yeah. for me, I mean, it, it kind of um, it gives a like, cool look. Oh yeah, yeah. Like I, I definitely like the look. One thing I was wondering though is, do you like double up? Like, do you put like a couple layers on, or is it just all like one layer? Yeah. And then, 
so when Same. I did when I did my LLC in it, I uh, I pulled on like one layer and then I rolled on like you know how like you roll it up in a big ball. I like rolled on the next layer because if you don't like if you try to pull it on over it, it's just gonna bunch up like the first layer. So like, oh, okay. I, I put like at least two, and then I think I put like a third one, like kind of like thicker, but it wasn't. It was only like you know like that much or whatever. And I kind of like put it up at oh, the yeah. top, you know, just to like kind of fan out the top a little bit. And, and, you know, like soft, yeah. like sharp edge or whatever. So, but like, yeah. I, I kind of did that and it worked out good. The only problem that I've noticed is like when you go to take it off, like you really feel the heat from the saw, like it can get really hot up against your skin. So, oh, yeah. I know, like, I actually just bought myself one. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, as crazy as it sounds, I've like, I've always used shears. I only just bought. Like an actual like oscillating saw for the first time, and I'm stoked. What kind did you get? <laughs> Honestly, um, we have a company here called uh, Canadian Tire, um, which is like they, they have like everything. They sell outdoors equipment, they sell kitchen stuff, they sell like tires and automotive. Like it's a big store, um, but uh, they they have a brand called Mastercraft, and uh, it was regular a hundred and fifty. And it was on sale that week for forty bucks. Nice. So actually, I actually saw it in their flyer of all places. This so awesome. I was like, oh my god! Yeah, I was like, I'm going to pick this up. Hundred dollar discount? Heck yeah! Literally a hundred dollar discount. Like I, that's that's my kind of deal. <laughs> yeah. I haven't tried it out yet, but. Um, Hopefully soon. I'm, I'm actually going to Seattle on Saturday oh, dude. for an adventure. I totally, totally want to go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I am so tempted. Yeah, um, I'm not like I'm not actually going to be doing anything on Saturday though. Oh, like, okay. I'm going down for a hockey game. Yeah, I'm going down oh, for a okay. hockey game. Okay. And, okay. and then it it is with my friend, though, because uh, she's a huge uh, sport fan, too. Um, so uh, there is probably going to be some maybe, like, the next day. But it's, yeah, it's, but Saturday is all about uh, hockey. Nice. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. you got to let me, I know you're going to let me know how that goes, obviously. Um, yeah, but yeah, dude. All right. Well, like, I don't want to keep you well, tied up here because I know you're talking about like how you had to go. So, and I'm not kicking you off. No, yeah, days. no, it's <laughs> no, it's it, oh no, 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 no. I mean, uh, the the one thing like with me is I'm pretty easygoing, uh, but I'm also brash in the sense that like if I decide that no, it's not going to happen. I just say no. It's okay. Yeah, I've noticed that. And I was like, that's what I was like. I was like, no, he can't say no tonight. Like, I got to get there fast. Like, I got to get there. <laughs> like, I'm not going to let him get out of this yeah. one. <laughs> so I'm really glad. Yeah. It's, no, and, and you know what? Like, actually, like, time-wise, we're still doing okay. I mean, like, I'm more than willing to still uh, pick each other's brains a little bit here. Actually, it's really funny. I was listening to... Uh, to podcasts all day today because um, there's a couple that I like, a couple like driving ones and stuff. And I mean, the, the one thing that I notice about good ones, especially like once you like start to talk and then you get that chemistry, um, especially like, like I think me and you doing this and like, unfortunately Randy uh, wasn't able to join in tonight, but like, you know, when you have good chemistry, then you just like, it's more of a conversation. It's ra rather than like, uh, you know, a really crappy, like, late-night talk show where, like, I'm sitting here with some cue cards, and then I'm, like, and then eventually, like, to try and, like, you know, kind of liven things up, I'll grab, like, the cue cards, and I'll, like, tap them on the table and throw them over my shoulder or something, you know, just to, like, add some dynamic effect to this, like, super boring, like, interview. Uh, <laughs> but fortunately for us, that's uh, that's not really a thing, which is good. Um, <laughs> yeah, dude, like... Uh, I was like, I was so happy the other night when we did that thing. I was like, oh my god, this is this is like this came out really good. You know what I mean? And so like, I was really glad that I was able to get it on like re recording too, and like I published it to YouTube. So if you get a chance, just take a look at it. But like this one, this is gonna be on my Patreon only. 
So like, yeah, you know, I, I'm probably gonna take like, <laughs> like a few little clips and like put them on my YouTube and be like, hey, ch- catch the whole thing over here, you know. Well, you know what's really funny is I think um, like with something like this is if if you do have it as like basically a Patreon perk, and if you listen to a lot of the other podcasts, um, they use Patreon to support the podcast. So I mean, you know, have like a clip or whatever, like like a lot of the other big ones do, have a clip or whatever on your YouTube channel. Um, but if you have them more for your Patreon, then all it does is it provides an extra incentive and an extra value, basically, you know, um, to being a member of the Patreon, right? Yeah. So. Hey, and just... I don't think... Go yeah, go ahead. No, no, I'm just... Uh, I'm I just don't think... Letting Randy know that we're not leaving him behind. <laughs> Oh, yeah, no, I, I, it's weird, though, because, like, he calls me, but, like, I try to call him to add him to the chat, and you're doing the same thing, and it just dials, and I, I just don't know, don't know why that's happening, because last night, it, like, everyone hooked up pretty quickly. We actually had less problems yesterday than tonight, funny enough. I'll say this while he's not listening, but he was, like, trying so hard to get that to work. And I'm like, dude, just give it up. Like, we'll figure out something else. And he was, like, yeah, seriously, yeah, exactly. like, I was, like, trying to, like, go to bed. And I hear my computer, like, bing, 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 bing. And I'm like, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, just give it up, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I felt bad because uh, he was like so stoked about it, and it just like kept not working, and I was just like, "Oh shit, like this sucks," you know. But I'm glad. Like, I just thought about this because I know that other girl. I don't know if you were able to catch her uh, her thing, but uh, that other girl. Um, what is her name? What's the her name? Megatron lady that you? No, no, no. Uh, the Sarah Williams, um, the Tough Girl podcast girl, the the one that I casted in L.A. In the pink arm cast, did you catch that? Oh one? no! Oh yeah, dude. No, I haven't. So, um, she was like telling me she like uses a GoPro, but she like hooks it onto her computer and then like records it through the mic port or something like that. And I was like, oh, that's kind of oh, interesting, okay. you know. But then I kind of like that's what got me thinking about like I had this X broadcaster thing that can like screen record like everything else on my computer. I was like, I wonder if that would work. And I was like, I was like, ten out of ten is either gonna record either just you guys or just me or something's gonna fail or something's gonna go way wrong. And it didn't. I was like, oh my god, it actually yeah. works. Like, you know what I mean? I was so excited. So many things go wrong when you try to do something that when something actually goes right, like you, you literally become yes. giddy. Like you're so yes. gleeful that it worked out. Yeah. <laughs> I also think it's great that you decided to uh, to put on an accessory there for the first <laughs> podcast. I think that's a great thing. Yes, that's yeah, no, definitely, uh, definitely a good idea there. So like, um, so I actually like tweaked this shit out of my thumb like a few weeks ago. No, it was like a month and a half ago, and I went and saw a doctor for it, and he's like, oh, he like prescribed me some. I don't know what they were like muscle relaxers or whatever, and so I like took them, and he's like, oh, I only take them for like two weeks, and I ended up taking them for like three weeks or whatever and it's still like it didn't do anything so then i like i re- i refilled the prescription which i didn't even think was possible so i started taking them again i was like you know what i'm just gonna cast the shit out of it because i start my new job on monday so oh, like, you got a new job yeah so it's actually working with uh hilti like it's like the um um oh no way yeah you've probably heard of that's that. wicked i know exactly who hilti is yeah. yeah so if you if you need anything rebuilt dude send it to me <laughs> No kidding. Well, like, just for you, though, in general, like, that's, like, a great job. Like, they have, like, great benefits. They have, like, that's kind of one of those companies you could stay with for a really long time. Actually, when I used to run um, my uh, my restaurant um, back in uh, back in Edmonton, um, we used to have all the Hilti guys come in for, like, for a big uh, group oh, no. dinner, like, at least once a week. Yeah, so they do a lot. They do cool stuff like that. So, like, honestly, like, I think uh, I think that'll that'll work out good for you. Like, Hilti or, like, I mean, if you're a mechanic, the only other, like, golden job I could see would be, like, if you get in at, like, cat fitting or something like that. Like, those guys, fuck, that's a good job, too. But, yeah. Yeah, uh, their benefit but yeah, I, is unreal. I'm like, oh, my God, dude, like... The only thing that sucks is the hours are, like, a little bit later. So, like, I'll have to figure out something, uh, you know, for, like, after work. Um, more or less for, like, my son, like, visiting my son and stuff like that. But, yeah, I mean, 
other than that, like I'm super stoked to start this job. I'm like, yes, this is a great job. What's your work schedule going to be like? Do you know your hours? Like what you're going to work like uh, X so, to or A to B? Like it's Monday through Friday, eight to four thirty. So like it's really not that bad. Okay. But like normally I oh, pick okay. up my son at like three. So it's like. Um, you know, it's it's like I'm gonna like she's gonna complain and I'm gonna be like, well, uh, like I'm trying to do the best, you know. I'm like trying to make more money, you know, and I'm trying to get like a good job for myself. So, but yeah. Anyway, we don't well, have to talk and about I mean, that. I know. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. But you yeah. tell that we just like we're just like friends in general. <laughs> we'll just like randomly go into like a life conversation. Just you know, hey, so how's work? Yeah. Uh. But yeah, I was gonna say you. I, I wouldn't be surprised if you like are working around stuff that's like healthy, you know, and stuff like that. Like, cause like, um, <laughs> go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, um, in our shop maybe, um, but a lot of our stuff is um, like Komatsu, and uh, okay. like they're like big for us, and then um, uh. SMS equipment basically who sells the Komatsu they're the company that then maintains everything and we have like a couple pieces of um, of uh, like cat equipment um, like but more like smaller stuff like dozers and what have you like not like the gigantic earth moving equipment um, and then uh, one piece of equipment that we have is a uh, um, oh what is it called um. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, by the way. I'm not laughing. At yeah, you. I'm uh, laughing with you. No, I just. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't remember uh, the name of the equipment, you, but I'm there's sure. a big. <laughs> well, there's a big joke because it's like, wow, they make they make heavy duty equipment and vibrators. Oh, <laughs> Hitachi, basically. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> See, see? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, you know, no wonder those things are so good. <laughs> Built to last. Uh, what am I gonna say? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I'm like a little nervous and like. I don't know, like, I'm just, like, hoping that it goes well, but, like, the interview went really well, and I think the guy's pretty happy to have me on, so I'm thinking it'll go pretty well, but, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, so it's basically, like, for, like, the, the, the rest of the year, and here's the thing is, I didn't put in my two weeks where I'm at, I essentially told my boss, yeah. like, I'll work, like, part-time on the weekend when I can, so I'm still gonna have, like, the job that I have, just, like, part-time on the weekend, so it'll be, like, yeah. I won't have time for shit. But, um, you know what I mean? Like, I'll have, like, money coming in, <laughs> you know, when I when I finally... Like, to facilitate those as well, I guess. Yeah. Which is why which is why I've been doing a lot more myself, to be honest, is just because, um, like, my, when I work, like, that's the thing that sucks, is, like, I work... Like, I get up at 4.15 in the morning, start work at 6, and then I get home by, like, 6.30, 6.45. So, oh like, my, my God, day's yeah. pretty much shot. That's a long day, but, yeah. But I work four days on and four days off. Yeah, I remember when you were telling me you got that schedule, and I was like, dude, that is like the caster's freaking schedule. <laughs> yeah, no, and it, I used to do seven and seven. That was even better, but um, but the four and four job is $9 an hour more, so I yeah. took that one. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, totally dude, don't blame you there. Uh, but I mean, I guess I guess now that I'm making more as well, it, I guess I don't have an excuse then to start either either planning a trip to come down or uh, to start facilitating some shoots of my own. I mean, I bought myself that like really nice Nikon, so I have some equipment already ready to go. I just need to uh, need to make use of it, I guess. Yeah, dude. If you need to like, if you need me to kick you in the ass for this, like, I'll totally be. Done. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I definitely like to come out your way. I mean, like, not to, like, I mean, A, it's, I've never been that far east. B, Chicago is, I mean, it's just a really cool city. And uh, you guys are really known for beer, and I really like beer. Like, Dude, I actually, beer. 
Well, I was gonna say you're you're familiar with Wisconsin. Wisconsin is like the land of beer, and I just went up there to Green Bay like a couple. I don't know, like it was probably about the same time, like uh, a month and a half ago. And uh, yeah. dude, it's like everybody is just constantly drinking all the time up there. <laughs> and I I guess I didn't realize that, but I was like, oh yeah, this is the, like the land of like breweries, like Budweiser and Bush, and all those are made there. So it's like. Yeah, I was just like, all right, like it makes sense, but I just didn't notice it, you know. <laughs> well, I, I I honestly wish my cousin still lived in Wisconsin because that was going to make like a trip down extra cool because I'll be I would have been able to do both. But she lives in Vegas now, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, dude, we gotta. I so gotta, Vegas would be an awesome place to do some casting. I mean, like, yeah. Um, I've been trying to arrange something with her to go down because the one thing I was looking at is for me to fly out of the major airport where I live, well, close to where I live. There's nothing where I actually live. Um, I mean, unless I'm flying a single engine Cessna, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's wearing a parachute. Help me, Dr. Jones. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's 487 Canadian dollars, I think, to fly to um, to Vegas. But uh, my buddy Jeremy, he lives close to Seattle, and he was saying I can park my car at his place, and then I can fly from SeaTac. And if I fly from SeaTac to Vegas, it's $210 Canadian. Oh, yeah, yeah. And it's only 60 bucks round trip in gas. And it's a two hour and like 45 minute drive from where I am down to where he is. So, I mean, it's kind of a no brainer. Well, I was going to say, do that, so, how, so. Much, how much would a flight be from your small town airport to SeaTac? Uh, they, they wouldn't fly to SeaTac. Like, okay. <laughs> If you're going to fly, yeah. I mean, basically, our airport is, like, if you own your own, like, little Cessna and you're, like, a weekend warrior, you know, I mean, you might be able to fly out of it. I hear some big stars fly into our airport, like, on their private jets because nobody can know yeah, <laughs> about yeah, this yeah. town oh, yeah. or its airport. Because, um, I mean, like, like, you know down by the lakes about an hour away and like couple, some of the bigger like um, cities the I mean like some huge stars on like lakeside homes and stuff so it's like definitely a touristy area but um, but the thing is is for me to fly uh, from our big airport that's only 30 minutes less of a drive than it is to fly down um, or to drive down to where where he is, so it'd be four hundred and like eighty dollars for the okay. flight or whatever, okay. and then it'd still be the same amount in gas, right? So yeah. either way, I'm still gonna. Nice. And then I'll just stay at her nice. place, and uh, yeah, and I have been, I have mentioned it, maybe doing a shoot with her. I think she might be into it. Yeah, yeah, because that's what you're talking about when she was living in Wisconsin. You're like, dude, like we should do something because she's a gamer, right? Is she the gamer? Yeah, she uh, she does. Um, she's an e-game journalist. Nice. Um, and uh, so she goes to like the big gaming events and like does like you know kind of play by plays and you know whatever it is when you like kind of announce what's going on and then she has um she has like her own patreon that does very well she has twitch she's 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 got a lot going on so she's got a pretty big profile actually as far as um you know her own online shenaniganery <laughs> yeah because i was gonna say um if she's got her own like patreon and stuff like that i mean she would Dude, like Vegas, one being casted in Vegas, period, is gonna be a ball. Yeah, and then like yeah. two, like if she's got like this like crowded audience behind her, like it'd be so good to like prank them or something. I don't know if she'd want to even be down for something like that, but I mean, just even for like my own Patreon thing would be cool, you know? Yeah, no, uh, I haven't talked to her much in the last little bit, but I'm meaning to reconnect with her because she's been busy like with 
whatever con that was going on, but I'll get back in touch with her and I'll throw the idea at her again and I'll see where she is on it and then uh, we'll go from there. And then maybe we can even plan something for for a little bit down the road, maybe even not that far, to be honest with you, maybe in a couple months. Well, I was going to say, um, so, um, oh my God, Neo, N-E-O caster from uh, Pittsburgh, um, mm-hmm. when I went and visited him, we had a fantastic time, dude, in Pittsburgh. He showed me all around the town and stuff like that. But so we were talking probably like a little bit after that. We're like, dude, like, I think it was even we were trying to plan that trip. And I was like, dude, like, let's meet out in Vegas. And he's like, yeah, I could, but it's a little bit too far. But he's like, dude, like in the spring, like I'll have like a lot more like free time. So he's like, you know, or like even like mid February or something like that. So I think like that, that far out would be perfect to start like planning for something for like Vegas. So I don't know if that works for you. But yeah, that that honestly should work for me. Um, the nice thing about my job is, is I know my schedule for next year already. So uh, I could actually send, I could send you the next four months of available time for me, like right now. Basically, yeah, dude, send it to me in an email, so. and I'll look at it, and I'll try to put something together. Yeah. And um, yeah, yeah, dude, I think it'd be awesome to get. I I know that there's there's quite a few casters in Vegas too. I think. I don't know. Oh, there's got to be, or at least in the, like the the surrounding area. Yeah, or nearby. Yeah, yeah. We should work that out. Hundred percent. Yeah, I like that idea. <laughs> All um, right. <laughs> we've we've definitely kind of wavered a little bit from the original topic, but whatever. We had a good chat. <laughs> um, but uh, um, so yeah, this is good. I think this is a good start. What we'll do is. Uh, Next time, between you and me and Randy, of course, uh, or whoever, um, let's go over a couple different things, maybe kind of type something up, kind of an itinerary of what we're going to talk about. You come up with your ideas of what you're going to talk about, what I'm going to talk about. Not necessarily to script it, but um, that way we kind of, you know, have a have a game plan, know what our kind of our goals are for the particular uh, podcast or topic, and then we could go from there. And I think... Especially if it's gonna be tied in with the Patreon, um, you know, especially like with like upcoming model shoots or whatever, uh, or like a previous model shoot, kind of talk about it, go into it, talk about, you know, maybe even uh, maybe even have like some clips or whatever, get some kind of feedback from the model. I think would be really cool. But I definitely think this would be a real. This is a really good uh, kind of little icing or cherry on a on the Patreon cake. For the followers, for sure. Yeah, because you never talk candidly about things like this, or like have like a conversation, and I think it'd be kind of cool for people to listen to. And then it's like, also, it's like when you like, I've talked with so many freaking casters, and like, I probably, um, yeah. But it's like this is like so much more interactive than than just like typing away on like Messenger with some random person, and it's like, who am I even talking to? You know. Yeah, you got, like, that wall in between, right? But some people like to keep that, you know? And, I mean, that's cool. Um, you know, I, I did, there's definitely those guys that, like, or girls or whoever, um, you know, who like to keep that kind of anonymity and like to look and enjoy but don't necessarily want to participate, and I think that's cool. And, you know, I think that's kind of a place for everyone. But for me, I definitely like to have more interaction and, I mean, you know, to talk about things like this and to kind of have topics and, you know, I think it's good for other people to listen to. And I mean, if it's something that, that isn't out there, which there isn't, this is kind of a first for sure. We're breaking new ground, but (laughs) I mean, I don't see why this is, this is a bad thing. This is kind of cool. It's a bunch of people with similar interests and talking about that interest and then people can listen and, and enjoy it and consume it as uh, however they see fit, I guess. I was going to say, yeah, that was a really cool thing that they, like, kind of talked about on Patreon is, like, I'm I'm able to, like, talk with my patrons, you know? So, like, today I went to Starbucks for, like, I don't know, three freaking hours before I was here. And um, I was just, like, messaging everybody. I was just, like, even if they weren't even, like, part of, like, my Patreon, like, right now, like, even if they were there before, I can still, like, send them a message on Patreon. And I was just like, hey, like, it's Kevin, like, I'm looking for ideas, or like, you know, if you have any kind of feedback for me, like, let me know in a message or whatever. So I thought, like, that was pretty cool that, like, Patreon, like, uh, gives you that, because I don't think there's any other kind of service that, like, you can pay for, like, what you want, and then, like, you can actually, like, type in, like, what you 
like, you know what I mean? Like, of course, like, you could always email somebody, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, I think Patreon is pretty cool because it, it kind of just, like, limits the spam, you know? Like, I get hundreds yeah. of freaking emails a week of, like, people who are, like, I want to see a girl in a body cast. And it's like, yeah, get in line, buddy, you know? like. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be honest with you, I think, like, for me, that's a reason, like, especially with, like, a lot of the new adventures I have, not so much of it's going on my Facebook, really, um, and most of it's going on my Instagram. And the biggest reason is I think it's a more easily accessible media format, especially for what we do, because at the end of the day, you know, people like to see the pictures and videos, so it's an easy way to consume that and share that uh, for others. And um, also when it comes to messaging and just pure spam, basically, like to scroll through all this crap and like, you know, <laughs> this girl with a piece of salami on her face and it's like, pray for the poor girl, give a like for an amen. It's like, right? Yeah. And, and, but with Instagram, it's it's a lot more condensed and easier easier to use the media, so that's why most of my stuff I post on there, and then on my Facebook, maybe I'll give occasionally, like I, I did this time, I'll post on there, I'll say, go over to my, my Instagram, because it's just easier for me to use, but it's good that Patreon's doing that kind of same thing for you, um, you know, to make that a little more easily accessible and kind of cut through the cut through the mud a little bit, so. Yeah. Well, all right, man. Uh, you want to cut this, or you want to stay going? I don't want to. Yeah, like... No, uh, no, this is good. But uh, I should probably uh, jump in the shower and <laughs> get ready for bed. Right. Uh, but yeah, let's. Uh, we can chat a little bit more on on Messenger, though. Um, I'm not going to go to bed right away, and then we can throw some more ideas at each other if you want. Okay. Cool, man. Cool. All right. All right. Good chat, bud. Okay. See ya. Bye.